So every good salesperson knows that they need to have some type of business to business activity, meaning you share what you do with somebody else who does something different and you both might have clients who can use each other's service. It makes perfect sense. Well, there's a new product called Coop Out where they take this B2B relationship and they put it online. It's super effective. And I gotta tell you, we've been watching this for a couple of weeks and people are batting a thousand. This is helping their business and it can help you. Coop Out, click this banner right over there. So did you know that Saturday is Naked Gardening Day? <laughs> Seriously, uh, this isn't a joke. Well, it's a joke, but it's not a joke. I, you get it. Uh, so here's the deal. Question, realtors, are you concerned about showing houses this weekend? Is this something that you'd kind of ask before going into a house? Because me personally, if somebody wanted to watch me get naked and garden, go right ahead. You might need therapy afterwards. But anyways, it got me thinking about this point. As a real estate agent, and I've spoken with a whole bunch of them, they've walked in on very uncomfortable situations when they're showing houses. What I'd like to get from you guys is, share us stories that you've experienced while showing a house, and let us share it with the rest of our viewing audience. Just do that right down below. Thanks. I thought this was interesting. Donald Layton, who's the CEO of Freddie Mac, has come out and said the mortgage industry is a far better run industry and that we, Freddie Mac, understand risk better. And that despite losses of $354 million in the first quarter of this year, the company still paid back $27 billion more than they received. But they, Freddie, can't brag about it that much because of conservatorship status. Now, it's really interesting how he worded that. Let's think about this thing. Now, things are great right now at Freddie, but they can't brag about it because they're in conservatorship. Now, isn't that an admission that they shouldn't be in conservatorship? Kind of like, hey, gotta keep this hush-hush over here. We don't wanna stoke the fires of those investors that aren't getting paid, so don't brag about it. Or am I reading into this? Because as we've said, Freddie and Fannie have not been able to recapitalize. So if the housing market were to deteriorate, they'd have to pull money from the treasury again. It seems crazy that such a vital component to the housing industry is being, what we would say, totally mismanaged. Now question to anyone with the intellect to answer this. What is the sound rationale why Fannie and Freddie are not recapitalized? Let us know your thoughts down below and we'll share your answer. It's just crazy stuff, man. So yesterday we talked about this report Ellie Mae came out with on millennials and we thought it was kind of silly. But we want to add to that whole thing, not from Ellie Mae. Now, did you know that home ownership among those between the ages of 25 and 34 is 10% lower than it was a decade ago? And today, first time home buyers represent 30% of the market, whereas they were traditionally at 40%. And well, this one's not really good that of new household formations, two thirds of them are renters. Now we talk about the problems with consumer protection, meaning we've got fewer young people entering the housing market, but the ones that are, well, they're protected. Now, if people a lot smarter than us say boomers are not moving to the burbs, thus creating the necessary inventory for said millennials. And that these millennials, the young adults, are straddled with high costs and student debt which is probably also true. And you know, more reason for this, let's face it, a decade ago, you didn't need any income to buy a house. But could it also be true that millennials are looking at the same headlines we are, that banks are bad? I mean, they must be considering the number of lawsuits out there. Or that zero margins for errors on loans has positioned lenders to find reasons to deny your loan rather than approve it. And that home ownership is not a good investment. After all, just look at what happened with mom and dad a decade ago, right? All of these headlines would make me personally hesitate to buy a house if I was a younger person. Should not the conversation be about rates, the ability to leverage someone else's money at historically low costs? Yet, just doesn't seem to be the case. And to clarify that, this is in the media, how it's being covered. So here's a thought to those in charge. Your actions act as a negative PR campaign for the industry, as evident by the number of people not buying homes right now. If you truly want to help the housing industry and help more people become homeowners, change the message through your actions and you'll see a rebound, my friends, in housing. 
totally true. If the media would have that type of a message, you know, right. these are historically low rates. They've never been this low. We should really be leveraging other people's money right now to get into the home ownership game. If that was the message of the media, it'd be a whole new ball game out well, there. I mean, look at the DOJ. Look at HUD. Right. Look at the CFPB. We've right. just come down and levied right. a hundred billion dollar, you know, yeah, because yeah, yeah. we got these bad players, bad yeah, apples. Yeah. You keep hearing this type of stuff, and if you're thinking about entering the housing market, you're gonna look at it and say it's not I worth it. I don't wanna go there. I don't yeah. wanna deal with that. They're all yeah. crooks. Hopefully they can get it together, man. Well, you guys, give us your thoughts down below. Always great to be with you. Forward share and subscribe in your upper right hand corner. Don't forget Coop Out. I had 62 B2B partners when I did this, and they sent me so much warm referral business, it was crazy. So click the Coop Out banner over on your right. You gotta check it out. Well, you know what? Having dealt with Listing Booster quite a bit, and I was just looking at one of our reports from people who just signed up. Yeah. There are 10 loan officers in there who have not signed up a single real estate agent. All that's required is going, hey, would you like to work with me on this? And they don't. So yeah. you did a good job, but let's face it, 80% of the people out there mm, might not. Take your business a little more seriously. I think you will. I think, I think so. you will. I hope I so. You, you guys have a great day. Your See business you. depends on it. Yeah. Don't want to get that Jaguar repoed, <laughs> right? Yeah, you will. <laughs>